We put a bow on the high school hockey season as local seniors take to the ice for a final time in the Northwest Hockey Conference Senior All-Star Game. Out at Tamo, the Team Blue going up against Team White, and we're in the first period. North views. Griffin Muir gets the scoring going, and he sneaks one in on the far side, and Team White, they get on the board first. Staying in the first, the cross out in front, and Muir there is there for the cleanup and the hat trick. The team White extends the lead out to four. Second period, the feed to St. Francis' Riley Box. The state champ finds the back of the net for a second goal of the game. Team Blue trails 9-2, to two, and Team White, they add on two more for the 11-5 win. Here's Matt Melzak and Matt Crandall. All right, thanks. Uh, well, I tell you what, Matt, what a lot of fun uh, it is. You know, it, you get into such hockey, such an energy, and it, and it just, it, you know, everybody wants to hit each other, and it's a physical game. It's a violent game sometimes, and it's so much passion and energy to just get into that environment where it's just relaxed. It's comfortable. Guys are having fun. It's kind of neat to see, isn't it? Well, we saw it to start the broadcast when we had Coach Chris Varga on and say he's just there to enjoy the game and relax. He wasn't a part of it. And, yeah, that was a great display by all these kids in the Northwest Conference just out there having fun one last time. The smiles, Matt, is what I got. Everyone out there was wearing a smile today, having fun. Didn't have the pressure of either the districts or the regular season or the turkey tournament or whatever it was, the pressure wasn't there today. The kids relaxed. They had some fun. Yeah, they certainly did. We saw a lot of great players, players that we've seen for uh, a lot of years over the last few in the Northwest Hockey Conference and high school hockey, and to see them perform at such a high level again, just to showcase some of those skills that maybe you might not get to see so much during games because of the structure of it. Without that structure, it's kind of fun to watch them be creative. Yeah. And it is going to be sad to see some of these kids go because they're burned into our minds after four years. You know, we're going to miss the Billy Dressels, the Luke Coors, the David Crandalls, you know, whatever it might be. But there's always some new kids coming up, Matt. There's always some kids that want to play in the Northwest Conference, want to get to the senior all-star game. So that's what's fun every year. It's like we're just going to recycle it, and then we're going to see these new kids like we did this year. We mentioned at the beginning, Cameron Horvath and Jake Ruby, we only saw them one year. I appreciate it because they're great players. They were great for the Northwest Conference, and we just keep doing it every and, year. And Griffin Muir, great game today. Hats off to him with a hat trick. We gave him the MVP of the game. What a game for Griffin Muir. It was, seems like everything was hitting the post this year for him in the regular season, and he was snake bit, and he was upset about it. Well, it seemed like today, Matt, everything was going in, so that's the way hockey goes. Sometimes you shoot it, it goes in. Sometimes it hits the post. Sometimes the goalie makes the save. Uh, fun day out at Tam O'Shanner today. Team White did pick up the victory. 11-5 to was the final, but the biggest takeaway is certainly these guys having one more time out on the ice. A lot of them teammates. A lot of them have played against each other the last four years. They got a chance to play with each other today. It was a lot of fun out at Tam O'Shanner.